Hutchison for Ingle Magazine with more questions for kids. Today we are with Braden Hopi, Vesna Trophy winning goaltender from the Washington Capitals. Braden is in Kelowna with Ingle's Kevin Woodley and I'm talking to Braden from our studio on Vancouver Island where I am. Like many of you busy with tryouts so I couldn't make the trip up to Kelowna. Braden, thanks for joining us today. Good. Natalie Jordan, who is eight and plays in Westland, Michigan, wants to know who your favorite goalie growing up was. Uh, my favorite goalie growing up was Patrick Waugh. Um, he grew up uh, at a time right when they, he moved to, to Colorado. It was kind of the first time I remember uh, watching hockey and kind of followed that team, and he was, he was definitely my, my idol growing up. Awesome. He's a great one. Aiden, who is 12 and plays in the York Simcoe Hockey League, asks, how does the water bottle trick help you focus? It's probably my most frequently asked question. I think everyone uh, uh, is wondering that. It, it, uh, it ended up being uh, just a, an eye exercise for me. Um, sometimes when my, my vision would get a little, a little shaky, that uh, uh, when my, my mental focus was off a little bit, uh, working with my sports psychologist when I was younger, uh, he told me just to, to find something small and focus on it uh, in between whistles or something to kind of bring your focus back into one, one, uh, one point. And it, it ended up, I just uh, found that something that was moving and, and small and a drop of water ended up being the, the way it uh, turned out. It was, I started doing it before I was on camera the whole game, so I didn't, I didn't even notice how weird it was, but, but now it's definitely, uh, um, definitely noticed. Okay, and a related question. Dylan White wanted to know, how long do you do your eye exercises for? Um, on, on game days, uh, my, in my pregame routine, uh, I'll do kind of out on the ice, I'll do eye exercises for, uh, what would it be, it'd be about five minutes or so of different, uh, different movements. And then in, in the locker room, since right when I get there, kind of from, I just do little ones here and there, try and, um, you know, loosen up the eye muscles and, and get them feeling comfortable and, and quick and, and focused. And um, it's just been kind of one of those things that I've integrated throughout my whole pregame routine at different times. But definitely on the ice is, uh, or when I go on the bench um, before, uh, that's that's the that's the where the real stuff happens. Great, I'm sure that will help lots of goalies now. Alby Martinez is seven from Alexandria, Virginia. Asked, how old were you when you started playing? And who is the funniest teammate on the Caps? <laughs> uh, I was, I think I was three when I started skating and about five when I started playing organized hockey. Um, played both as a, as a forward and a, a goalie until I was, I think, 12 or 13 years old. Um, uh, so that's, a, and then the funniest guy on the Caps, we have some pretty good characters. Um, but uh, TJ Oshie is definitely up there, and, and uh, Brett Connolly has got a good sense of humor. Um, you know what, obviously, uh, he's moved on to Vegas now, but Nate Schmidt was definitely a, a guy that uh, could make people laugh before, too. So there's, uh, um, we, we lost Jason Chimera, who's probably the most funny guy I've, I've been around um, as far as teammates. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, there's some pretty creative, uh, creative guys, pretty witty guys. Nice. I was also wondering, who do you sit with in the room? Um, the, it kind of changes every year. Uh, last year, it, it ended up, I, I was by Connolly a lot. Uh, there was a stall in between us that would sometimes be the, the guys that get called up. Um, so it was different guys at all times. Uh, I had, uh, that's at the game rink, at our practice rink. Um, uh, who is who's beside me now? There's but it's kind of the same setup. There's usually a call up that's that's right beside me, um, and then uh, it's kind of maneuvers around. Us goalies on the road are usually beside each other, which is nice to to be by Philip and kind of by the defenseman usually. But uh, it's always the last uh, pick of the straw that who gets to sit by by the goalie who has <laughs> all the all the big gear spread out. And what's the best prank you've seen? Best prank. Yeah. Oh man. There's been some good ones. Uh, man, the best one. That's uh, that's PG. Uh, <laughs> oh god, 
the the classic ones are always good. You know, the the sock tape on the skate is always pretty funny. Uh, so tying some knots inside guys' skates so they they think they can't tie them up. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm always up uh, with Andre Burkowski. We try and prank him every day different ways. We gotta get we gotta get uh, creative sometimes. But uh, it's just the little ones are pretty funny. Okay, and back to our readers. Thirteen-year-old Mitchell from New Brunswick wanted to know how old were you when you started to focus on training off the ice? Um, I would have been in Bantam. Uh, I would have been about fourteen is when I started kind of thinking about training off ice. I, I grew up on a farm, so there was pretty good physical labor out before that. But um, start figuring out the gym was probably what, yeah when I got drafted in the Western League was kind of when I knew I had to kind of focus on that and, and for real, you know, training hard was, was once I got to junior and uh, started to, to learn a lot about it, learn about, a lot about nutrition and, and um, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun to those first few years try and figure that out because you have a lot more energy when you're that age <laughs> than I do now. So, um, yeah, that would have been about the time. Henry from Wisconsin is 13 and asks, how do you break in new equipment and how much time do you spend stretching every day? Um, breaking the equipment is uh, um, takes a while for me. Uh, I only go through about two pairs of pads per year, um, so I I break them down. I jump on them and hit them against the wall. And I had to, I don't quite go all archers Urbay and run them over with the bus, but I've thought about it sometimes. Uh, but that and then gloves gloves are easy. You just throw them on the uh, hydroxylator. That's uh, just kind of puts steam in them, heats them up, loosens them up. Uh, I go through a lot of a lot of those because. They break down quick, but everything else, um, skates are pretty easy for me. Um, chest pad just takes a little bit of time to break down, um, but the, the pads definitely take me a long, a long time. It'll take me three or four weeks before I feel comfortable in them. And uh, uh, sorry, what was the what was the second part of the question? Um, how much time do you spend stretching every day? Oh, um, not not a ton. Uh, more uh, on the ice. Doing different, um, di I'll do dynamic warm-ups, um, something that's moving. Not, I, I very rarely do any static stretching. Um, I don't find it, it benefits me too much. So, uh, mainly on the ice. But when you're you know, practicing every day and such, you're you're um, you're kind of stretching while on the ice, doing that, uh, um, you know, while moving. So your your body feels comfortable in those positions as opposed to static uh, stretching. Right. Yeah, I only go through two, two pairs of pads usually. Um, one I'll, I'll I'll start the year with the one I ended ended on, um, the year before, and then I will have one pair throughout, and then I'll, about a month before playoffs I'll start breaking that new one. So I kind of overlap years with with one pair and, um, but pads, but gloves I'll go through probably 15 or so um, catching gloves and five or six blockers, but. Uh, the rest of the stuff is basically of, of two sets through the year, maybe two two pairs of skates, two upper bodies, um, usually the same pair of pants through the whole year. Okay, now we'll have a few quick ones. Throwback Thursday, pad stacks or moon mail? Oh, pad stacks for sure. Yeah, barrel roll pad stacks like Kirk McLean. Yeah. Nice, me too, because every day is one little day. Dream car? Dream car. Um, that's changed a lot. I think it's still probably the um, Shelby GT 567. Uh, it's tough to beat. Playlist before a game? Once I get to the rink, I don't. We have some sort of weird Russian techno being played usually, so uh, I try and get away from that. Um, but before going to the rink, uh, I'll try and I usually have one artist that I listen to, uh, depending on. You know what I'm feeling. I, I listen to a lot of Sinatra before, uh, before the games. Kind of puts me in a good mood. And then sometimes it'll be like Jack White, or I uh, went through some Chili Peppers. Just kind of whatever, wherever I'm at at that season, what I kind of need. But uh, Sinatra is definitely the one that that I would play the most. Most embarrassing thing on your playlist? Um, I had a a song that was uh, so that my iTunes is quite quite old now. Um, and alphabetically, sometimes you know when you turn it on, it just plays the first song in the playlist or of your alphabetical. And it was a song from uh, 
Slumdog Millionaire, I forget what it's called, but it was like a start with an A and it just had this weird howling at the start and it would turn on randomly like, yeah, it was, it was embarrassing, I had to get rid of that one. All right, thanks so much for answering a few questions for us today, Brady. Good luck this season. Thank you very much. And good luck to all our young readers this season as well. Look for more opportunities for us to take your questions to the pros this year.